you got a question um, How to be a true Christian Uh, is this is it biblical thank you for this question is it biblical that Jesus went to hell and preached between his death and resurrection I'm not going to ask y'all to answer that I'm not going to ask y'all to answer that and the reason why I'm not going to ask y'all to answer that is because the Bible talks about how at certain times God winks at our ignorance amen and so in the history of uh, I don't want to just say the black church, but I want to just say in, uh, in the church uh, as general, we have done ourselves a great injustice because we refuse to use the tools that are available to us. And there are many who still fall under this trap. And that is, you know, King James only. Amen. But when I became pastor of this church and th from the from the inauguration of, of Wednesday night Bible study, when I told you that we were going to teach verse by verse to the Bible, I told you then that I would not be teaching from the King James. I told you then that I will be teaching from the New Living Translation, the uh, uh, New King James, which is what we're using in, in, the, in the book of John. And why did I tell you that? Because of what? Somebody's saying it archaic. English, right? Okay, the King James is written in a poetic English, isn't that right? It's written in a poetic English, and so in order for you to understand it, you need a faithful translation. So I've given you several faithful translation: ESV, uh, NASB, CSB. That's those are faithful trans New Living Translation and the New King James. Those are all faithful, faithful translations. Amen. You have some translations that are good to use, uh, you know, but they are called paraphrases. They're not, they're not necessarily translations, amen? They're, they're paraphrases, but they're good to use, but you want a faithful translation of the Bible. So here's one of those areas where the translation of the Bible has messed up so many Christians, and that is the word hell. Because the King James always translates the Greek word Hades as hell. It's, it, it's past the teaching tonight. Always, and that's a problem. Because the word Hades in the Bible is it, it talks about it's talking about two different places. Y'all y'all hear me? So it's talking about simply the realm of the dead, right? The realm of the dead waiting final judgment. That's what Hades is. The realm of the dead waiting final judgment. However, and you know what I'm saying. Pastor going to break it down for you. You know exactly what I'm saying. However, there's two, two parts of that. There is one part called paradise. Abraham's bosom. Right? Remember what Abraham said? There's a great gulf fixed so that those who are on the, 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 the negative or the bad side cannot get to the place of the, one, the ones that's on the place uh, in, in, in the area of comfort. Amen? And so what we would call heaven, right? The Bible would call Hades or paradise or Abraham's bosom. Y'all understand that? It is, a, it is a, a temporary place awaiting the final resurrection or the return of Christ Jesus when the Bible says they that are what? They that are asleep shall, right? So, so your loved ones are in paradise. But there is a greater reality that God has for our loved ones, and that's when the second coming of Christ, that our bodies will resurrect and be reunited with our souls. You, you know this to be true, don't you? You don't? Okay, let me prove that you know it to be true. On the cross, I asked you this uh, uh, before, did Jesus lie to the thief on the cross? Jesus said to the thief on the cross, this day you will be with me in paradise. This day, not tomorrow, but this day. So what happened when Jesus died? He went to that place, paradise. Now, the problem is, is that the King James always translates it as hell. And so many Bible readers have taken that to mean that Jesus went to hell and so say, you know, preach to, you know, uh, uh, dead souls or preach to souls and, you know, set the captives free, Jesus. You know, y'all heard the old preachers used to say that, right? 
But God winked at that ignorance. Jesus did not go to hell and preach to anyone when he died. Jesus, is, Jesus went to paradise just like he said he was going. And that in the Bible is called Hades, which unfortunately the King James only transfers, uh, translates as hell. So Jesus went to paradise. Amen. He didn't go to hell. He didn't preach souls. So, 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 so okay, you, 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 you read Psalm. And, and in Psalm, it says this. The Psalms said this. You will not leave my soul in hell. But if you read the translation, it means the grave. Because ne the next thing that it says is, my body will not see corruption. My flesh will not decay. So Jesus rose three days later. You all understand that? So I know we heard the old preachers, uh, uh, they would say that. And so this is Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 8. So I'm going to just tell you exactly what this one, because this is the particular verse, even though there's other verses like in uh, 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 Peter. But uh, the question was asked about Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. But just let me tell you exactly what Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 means. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now listen, verse 9, a text without context is what? A con. Verse 9. Now this, he ascended. What does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He simply talking about Jesus died. Lower parts of the earth, that's talking about the grave. That he that died also raised. Now when it says he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. This is talking about a conquering king. It's making reference to something that's being said, I believe, in Psalm 68. This is talking about a conquering king. When a king conquers, a, a, a strong, he does what? He takes captives and he gives gifts to his people. It's a metaphor for a conquering king. Y'all receive that? Y'all receive that? So, so a part of learning, teachers, educators, y'all know this, right? A part of learning sometimes is unlearning. So, so unlearn, Jesus went to hell and preached to the caps, set the caps free. Unlearn that. I don't care how good it sounds when they hooped it. <laughs> the Sunday school it, it, it lesson. Mm -hmm. The Bible study session. Oh, oh, confused about faith. Oh, if you want to be.